everybody. Welcome to Cooking with Grandmommy. We're getting ready for some Christmas fun. And today, as you can see, I have been in this kitchen baking Christmas cookies. That's the title of my recipe, Christmas cookies, because that's what my mother called it. I love this recipe because it's the one she used and the one that I enjoyed eating as when I was growing up. So remember, at Grandmommy's house, food is all about love and everybody's welcome. So today, I want to show you how to make some Christmas cookies and some Christmas memories. We'll get started in just a moment. All right, so you can see I have been baking cookies this morning. And I've saved out uh, one section of dough here to go over this with you and show you how to do it. This dough I love. It has buttermilk in it and a little bit of nutmeg. Now, if you don't like nutmeg or you don't keep it in your kitchen, you can use vanilla flavoring. But this is the way my mother always did it. A lot of people switched over to the sour cream cookie recipe. My sister Val uses that one, and it's delicious too. But I'm kind of picky because I don't like the sour cream cookies get kind of thick. I like my cookies a little thinner so there's like an equal amount of frosting in cookie. That's because I love frosting. But either recipe you use, you would still roll out and bake about the same. So this recipe is the one that has uh, buttermilk and has nutmeg. So you want to, and you can, you, you can roll your dough right away. You can stick it in the fridge uh, and chill it and use it later. So it's pretty versatile. One recipe will make about five to six dozen based on the size of the cutters that you use. So that will help you judge how many you want to make. One of the most fun things that we've done for a few years is I use my, my big gingerbread man cookie and I make one of these for each person and then they have to decorate it. We used to say you had to decorate it to look like yourself but then oh my goodness people went crazy. Uh, we have had Peter Pan with his shadow. We have had Tennessee and Michigan football players. Someone did the Grinch and it was absolutely great. Any kind of design you can think of, people have figured out how to, how to frost these cookies to look that way. So we have a little contest and then the cookies are judged and one year first prize was a roll, a brand new roll of toilet paper. Uh, second prize was a tube of chapstick. So uh, whatever you can do to make it fun. And then of course the best part is after you're all done and you've decorated your cookie, you get to eat it. So I've rolled out my dough and it's not perfect or, you know, exactly in a circle. I just roll it out. And then I like to, um, I have a bell, a star, a wreath, and a stocking. And I will like do two of each to kind of keep track so I end up with about the same number of each shape. So I just start uh, cutting them and uh, I've got my pan ready. You want to put just a light spray of cooking um, spray on there. So a couple of bells, a couple of trees. That one's stuck, so I'm just going to knock him out of my hand and put him over here in the tray. These I'm going to pick up. Sometimes if there's a lot of flour, just shake off a little bit. So I've got my bells and my trees in here. Now I'll do a couple of these stockings. This is probably my all-time favorite cookie. And every time I do it, I remember my mom. I remember being a kid growing up on West 6th Street. We had a great neighborhood here in Monroe. And think about my brothers and sisters and decorating cookies together. And now I'm decorating cookies with my my kids and my grandkids and now there's great grandkids so the memories go on and on each um, time you roll out a complete roll because you'll see I'm gonna uh, put this together and roll it again but the big sheet will make about 15 cookies so that uh, will give you an idea too as you're going along so there I've done two of each now I'm gonna start over with my bell do two of those. So this pan is ready. So I'm going to stick it in the oven for six minutes. Now I'm going to pick up my dough. It's never come, going to come out perfectly even. 
just kind of shake a little bit of the flour off there. And I'm going to roll it out again. You can do this two or three times. Press it together a little bit. Get some flour under there. I hope that you've been trying some of the recipes and, and going in your kitchen and doing a little cooking. That's why I'm doing all this. It's so you can, can see that it's pretty simple and not terribly time consuming to cook in your own kitchen, to cook for your family. Uh, it's usually healthier food we can make at home than what we can buy when we eat out. It's um, also so great to sit down with your family and eat together. That's a really special time. Doesn't happen so much these days as it used to, but I encourage you to do that. If you don't have a family to cook for, get a couple friends together and have a meal. Maybe each person can bring something, uh, a different dish to pass and then you've got a meal all together. There's something good about it, getting together for food, and I encourage you to do that. Hope that your Thanksgiving was great, that you tried some of those recipes out, and listen, don't forget, when you go on YouTube, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, please. I appreciate that very much. Tell your friends to watch and subscribe. That would be very much appreciated. So, I'm just going along, making two of each shape. Kids love to do this, you know, and yes, it makes a mess, but we can clean it up and go on from there. All right, I'm going to roll this one more time. And as you do this, your dough gets a little stiffer because you're getting more flour rolled up in there. So this particular round of dough that I had is going to make about... Oh, 20, 21 cookies, and I'm only using the smaller. If I were using this one, of course, I wouldn't get as many cookies out of that. Make a couple stars. One more stocking. All right, so I have one more pan ready to go in. I'll get these baked, and then we'll come back and do some cookie decorating. All right, so our cookies are baked, and I'm going to just give you a couple of ideas on uh, frosting them. We uh, usually will have, it's buttercream frosting, and I'll have that in the recipe for you. But you can use just the white frosting, which I'm going to show you how, and different colored sprinkles. But you can also take your white frosting and do one bowl with blue food coloring, one with green food coloring. Uh, and uh, especially if you're going to do the gingerbread men, uh, you'll want to have some different colors of frosting, but I like to do it for my other cookies too. So anyway, we're just going to um, frost them. You know the trick to frosting is not eating them all as fast as you frost them because that's typically what I like to do. Because we only have them once a year and they're so tasty. So I like to use um, yellow sprinkles for my star, but you know the kids will be creative. They'll think of their own ways to do it. And I love cinnamon red hot, so I put a little one right in the middle of the star. So there's my yellow star. Then for the Christmas tree, I uh, use a couple of different sprinkles just to make it look a little more festive. And <laughs> sprinkles add more sugar, right? So that tastes pretty good too. So here we go. Now on my little Christmas tree, I'm going to sprinkle it with some green sprinkles. And I'm going to make the bottom red like a Christmas tree stand. And then I have these multicolored balls. I'm going to throw those on so it looks like Christmas lights. How do you like that? My Christmas tree. And then my little Christmas stocking. You know, with all these cookies, you really do want to have some help. So that turns it into a friends and family event when everybody helps decorate. By the way, these cookies you can... Uh, before or after they're frosted, they freeze up very well. So you can uh, make your cutouts anytime and have your decorating party later on. So I'm going to do a little red on my stocking here, and I'm going to put a little bit of green on his toe, and a little bit of green across the top. So there's my Christmas stocking. Let's do a wreath.
Now I'm getting frosting on my fingers, that's okay. That's a bonus when you're working in cookies. So I'm going to put a little bit of green on my wreath. Now if I had my green frosting, I would use that. And then I use a couple of cinnamon red hots just to make it look like little holly berries on my wreath. There we go. And then last but not least, I'll decorate one of these bell cookies. And I like to do those in blue. I'll take a little bit of a cinnamon red hot here and put in the little clapper there at the bottom and put some blue coloring colored sprinkles on my bell. So there you have it. Pretty easy way to make your cutouts, decorate them, and enjoy them. If you're not good at making frosting or you're in a hurry, you could also buy a can of frosting and sprinkle them up and have a lot of Christmas cheer. Thanks again for joining me. I will look forward to seeing you the next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>